Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Jeremy Sacklin Bunny here, and I want to talk to you about some PWM output readings and uh, uh, different ways to do PWM fades uh, with an Arduino, of course. So uh, we have an Arduino here, and we have a pink LED, because I have a brand new daughter, so I got pink LEDs. And uh, we have a 100 ohm resistor connected to pin 3 and then to ground. Um, here we have my meter here, and you can see that uh, this is a program here you can see on the switch screens here on the um, I have uh, the LED fading in uh, waiting two and a half seconds and then fading out so that's a, a real simple sketch and that's that's what the LED is doing so when the LED is out uh, it's about five millivolts and then when the LED is full it's about uh, just a little bit less than 3.1 volts uh, which is due to the 100 ohm resistor in here it's not five volts you blow your LED up so uh, that's good, and that gives us an idea of the voltage output of this guy here. We can take a look at our scope, and we see that uh, the line is flat, does some cool patterns, and then the line is high. That's lines on the ground plane, and then the line is uh, just about uh, 3.2 volts. This is kind of a little bit different readings from the meter. So I want to change the, uh, the sketch a little bit here. Let's flip over and put this guy in. And what this sketch is, is this is a simple... Um, if you type a, a number in the serial monitor, um, you'll get that value displayed in PWM output. So we can type in uh, LED 255, and the LED will fade up from 0 to 255, and you can see that's three point, uh, almost 3.1 volts, the same thing that I was just doing. So um, let's go to uh, LED 0 is obviously going to be 0 volts because it's not lit. Um, we can go ahead and do that and fade that out. It should actually be about 5 millivolts. Yeah, it's about 5 millivolts there. So let's go to LED 10. Um, and so you can see the LED is dimly lit, um, soft pink, and this is reading 128 millivolts. Now how in the world can an LED fire at 128 millivolts? It can't. Uh, let me show you my scope here. Uh, the scope is picking up still 3.24 volts. Uh, but just every so often. Now this is 6.4 milliseconds, so this is this is very very fast that this is happening, uh, and that's exactly what's happening. Is uh, every so often it's just flicking the LED on a little, a, just for a split second, and our eyes perceive it as dim uh, because that's the way our, our eyes work. They're not fast enough to catch those those on off cycles. So as we increase this, let's put this at 127, which is half of 255. You'll notice that these lines here on the scope um, will uh, increase to half because this is half of the value that it's able to do and so it's half and half. So it's half on, half off, half on, half off and so forth. So this is running at uh, 127 uh, value for PWM and the analog write Arduino command. So it's basically turning uh, things on and off half the time, hence half the brightness. Um, so, and you can see here that our voltage is 1.5, uh, almost 1.55 volts. Now, this does an average reading, uh, which is why we got at PWM value 10, we got uh, a very low reading. I forgot even what it was here, so let's type that in again. Uh, we have 128 millivolts. That's taking an average reading of that. So, uh, of course, when we do LED, let's do 200. Um, we can watch these lines and they'll get much fatter. Whoops. Uh, LED 200. You can see that now there's a lot less time when the LED is off, appearing uh, even brighter uh, down there on our LED, and then the voltage appears higher to the meter, too. And of course, if we do um, LED 255, it just appears uh, like it's all the way on and voltage is up. Because um, that's pretty much on 100% of the time. So that's pretty much how PWM works. It actually doesn't vary the voltage at all. It just switches it on and off very, very fast. Kind of like a switching power supply, if you're familiar with those. Or it doesn't really, uh, it just switches it on and off really, really fast. Which kind of know the way to say that. So um, that's that. And I want to talk about how we get this LED to dim uh, the way it dims. And I'll go over that in the code in here just a, just a second. Hey, it's Jeremy here, and I just wanted to explain uh, one little part of the video that I don't think I explained well enough. So um, I'm going to go back and turn our LED on to half value here, say 127. 
and you can see on this scope that uh, the value is half and so it's uh, it's on 50% of the time and I I had this number here this 490 Hertz and that is going 490 times a second but I wanted to make something clear that uh, that number doesn't change so uh, if we change our value uh, let's say 64 and so it dims down to 64 and you can see that uh, our scope has reflected this change now what I want to do is I want to show you uh, that number one this is still 490 Hertz up here uh, number two the time cursor so if we could um, yeah that'll work let's go to time cursor one here and so time cursor one uh, this is at, at zero here and so uh, if we go to one it's about 520 microseconds and so if this is on a quarter uh, a quarter of the time this should be about two two milliseconds uh, over there and so let's um, let's take our other cursor and let's go actually to the beginning of this cycle here and you can see that that's 2.04 uh, milliseconds so that's about a quarter of the time but PWM does not change the frequency this 490 stays the same no matter what value is pressed it's just the length of time uh, the duration of that pin being pulled high during those cycles is what dictates the brightness of the LED so I'll go ahead and um, take a screen capture of this I'll label it more clearly on the video so you can see it All right, guys, uh, so here we are looking at um, this sketch here on the right here where it basically just fades this LED, this LED up and down. Uh, it waits two and a half seconds in between. So what if we go over here and you want different PWM values because uh, that's kind of the magic of PWM. Half the magic is that you can set uh, LEDs at different levels and they'll do different things and so uh, at different brightnesses. So we can go ahead and upload this sketch here. And uh, this is just a very crude sketch, and it just simply writes three values with a second delay in between. Now you can see that it's doing it, but it's doing it kind of crass, so to speak. It's not uh, real elegant, I guess you'd say. It's just going from those three different levels very, very harshly. So uh, there is a better way to do this. Um, if we dump this sketch in here uh, that just says, uh, go ahead, and we have our, our we had something called LED level and a target value and then we have uh, this little subroutine here called void uh, adjust and uh, it adjusts the target value as an integer so this is uh, adjust 255 and so that's where we want to go and so um, the LED level is currently zero so uh, if the LED level is less than the target value we want to uh, you know, so this equals zero. It's the same thing if we go over to um, this right here uh, for i equals zero, and then i uh, is less or, or equal to uh, 255, then go ahead and uh, add five. And then here we're doing the same thing, only it's LED level and target value are the two values we're working with. And so here's where we want to be, and here's where we are now. So if it's less, then we want to go up. If it's brighter and we want to go dimmer, then of course we go down. And then at the end, you have to write this line of code here that says your LED level is now equal to your target value. So now when you type in a different target value, your old target value becomes your new LED level because you brought the LED up or down to that current level. And so uh, this is going like this. I'm going to go ahead and dump this code in here. Um, and that'll upload here and then you'll see the difference how it'll kind of ramp it ramps up uh, from 0 and then it ramps down to 127 and then it ramps down to 10 and then it ramps back up to 255 and so it's a lot classier way to fade uh, LEDs in and out it's also a lot slower it takes a lot longer to do it takes a lot more processing cycles uh, but it's a lot more elegant if you're looking for elegance if you're looking for speed uh, you can do it the other way so I just wanted to show you both ways and then I want to show you another sketch um, that takes serial input, and then you can do that same thing. So if we if we dump this 
this sketch into here. This sketch simply listens to the serial port and it um, and it waits for uh, a certain string beginning with LED and then the number. Then whatever that number is, it'll go ahead and write that value. So I can have my serial monitor open here and I can say LED LED, sorry, 200 uh, and then of course it'll, it'll ramp up to value 250 or 200 and then LED 10 uh, you get the name of the game here. I'm not going to go through the whole nine yards. And 255 is, of course, full brightness. And then when you turn it off, just go to zero, and it'll write it down to zero. So I hope that I explained this well. If not, uh, leave me some questions, and I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks so much.